first in the spotlight tonight is Andy Tucker, a former diplomat from Winchester. His subject, the author and secret agent Robert Bruce Lockhart. Next, Simon Spiro, a PhD student from Oxford. He'll be answering questions on human parasites. Rebecca Wickens, a local government officer from Brighton. Her subject, the English poet and novelist A.C. Swinburne. And to arrive, energy from England. His specialist subject, antinatalism. And now we welcome our first guest. Name? Derived energy. Occupation? Antinatalist. And specialist subject? Antinatalism. Okay, derived energy, you have two minutes on antinatalism, starting from now. What will you have achieved by the time you answer all of these questions correctly? I'll have completely have pawned wisdom in nature seven's ass. Correct. Does anybody come into existence of their own volition? Negative. Correct. Could it then be said that one finds oneself on this rotating compost heap that we call the planet Earth when the decision to come into existence was not made by the person who finds himself on this planet? Indubitably so. Correct. What is the one guaranteed event that is guaranteed to occur to every single organism that has ever lived? It will die. Correct. Is dying often a painful and extremely distressing experience? Affirmative. Correct. Why is the Benetarian asymmetry unimpeachable? Because it can be expressed in formal logic with the following equation, where not x equals not y and not z, when x represents sentience, Y equals deprivational states, and Z equals pain and suffering. Correct. Is human extinction an inevitability? Yes, it is. Do you mind if uh, you stop the clock for a second, please? I just want to play a little song. Thanks. Correct. And why do the human race continue to procreate when any intelligent eight or nine year old kid can grasp the logic inherent in the Benetarian asymmetry? Because the majority of the human race are simply um, ir irrational, deluded and insane, sentient, self-reflexive manifestations of any energy slash matter in an amoral and meaningless universe. Correct. And why do you... Do, 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 do. I've started, so I'll finish. Why do you think that great horrors lie in store for the few human race in the future? Because moral progress doesn't magically keep in step with scientific and technological advances. The future technologies that will become available in the next decades and centuries will permit the, uh, the um, threat of atrocious horror that we will never um, visualize now in the current time. Correct. And you have a score of nine points with no passes. Derived energy. You are the next, the new mastermind champion.